What is going on ladies and generals, Yodi Slay here bringing you another Modern Warfare 3 commentary. Today for you I have a domination game here on Dome and how many of you people have done what you are about to see with an AS-50, an RSS, or a Barrett 50 cal. Maybe you've got a triple, maybe you've got a quad, maybe you've got a septa shot. I, a five man, I don't know, stupid is, stupid does. Pretty sure it's septa though. Uh, but anyways, we got a domination game here today on Dome, and it is going to be a double map fail. But before we get into this, I want to ask you guys one quick favor. A buddy of mine, a friend of mine on Facebook, actually a subscriber of mine, last Wednesday was diagnosed with uh, a form of cancer. And I ask you guys, you know, I don't know who you pray for. I don't know if you're religious. I'm not asking you to believe on anything. Pray to whoever you want to pray. But please pray for him. His name is Steven. Like I said, keep him in your prayers so he can get through this. Um, you know, he's a good guy, young guy, and, um, uh, I'm just a simple question, simple prayer, that's all you gotta do. Okay, thank you. Alright, but like I said, today I got a little double Moab fell. The first one I die at like around 20 kills, and then I end up getting it later on into the game. But today, while I went to Walmart, man, I had to go to Walmart, dude. I, I gotta poop. I had to buy some, well, I, I took care of it before the commentary. Uh, but man, I had to buy some toilet paper, dude. It ain't rained all dang summer, and these tree, the leaves on this tree outside were starting to give me a rash. Starting, I was scabbing up. I had to go get some Charmin, like, double rolls, but they, they're the size of single rolls. I don't know how they do it, dude. It's like David Blaine magic. They, It's like a double roll and a single, dude, it's so trippy. I don't, it's, it's the craziest thing ever. But yeah, these leaves were just giving me a rash, man. It's just like... I don't know, it's raining like two times all summer here. Imagine, like, wiping with a dead, like, leaf. It just crumbles in your anus. In your anus. And it's not very... I mean, it's entertaining when you take a doo-doo. I mean, you, you we've all seen the poo-doo. We're going to call it poo-doo, this commentary, I guess. But we've all seen the poo-doo littered with corn. But when you see it with the orange leaves, and it reminds you of Indian corn. All the, like, brown and oranges. It really, it, it reminds you of Indian corn. But, uh, yeah, we'll move on from there. But while I was at Walmart buying the TP for one of my bunghole, I know I, I'm walking around. I'm a very observant person. I pay attention to weird details most of the time. Like at my old job, I could tell you who it was. Because where I used to sit at my job, there was like a, like a uh, dry erase board, okay? Like for people to ride on and stuff like that for the daily plans. Where I would sit... When I was on press 8, anyways, and plant 1, you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, but maybe somebody out there does. Uh, but where I could sit, like the people, they would walk, when they would walk by my station, my press, because I was a printing press operator, I was assistant, but basically, we did all the work. Um, but, you know, when they would walk by where I was at, I would actually see their feet before they would see the, I would see the person, and I got to know who it was by their shoes and the way they walk. I could tell, and I would play this mental game. That's how I kept my 12-hour shift occupied. I would be like, okay, that's, you know, this that's, this is so-and-so because of their feet and the way they walked. I just pay attention to weird details. But when I was in Walmart today, I started, I was very observant. I caught onto a trend. And, I, and, and ultimately it led to a new series that I'm thinking about doing. But my observation was this. There was three types of women today in Walmart, okay? There were really old women. There were really... Fuck, dude, look at this shot. Well, hold on, before we get in this. Look, this death was bullshit. This was on the Moab streak, and look. What the... What is this? Come on, Infinity Ward. Whatever, the other dudes. I don't know. It's like Hammerhead or something, I think. No, I know that's not it. What is it? Um... I don't know. The other dudes that made this game. But I was very observant while I was in Walmart today, and there was three types of women. There was the very old women, you know, like the ones in the little electric scooters that go like 60 miles an hour, run over you and shit. You just want to, like, backhand a woman. I would never hit a lady, especially an old lady. Well, I might give it some, but I don't know. But there was very old women. Then there was the very fugly women. You know, the type who's just like, ew! That type of woman, and then they were just smoking hot women. There was no in betweeners. Like when you walk by, you're like, nah, I don't know, couple beers maybe. These were just like a no brainer. 
no and really old i mean there was no six pack there was no like bottle of whiskey involved you were either getting your done or you were like fucking throwing up i mean that's how it was and i started thinking about this i was like dude this is an excellent series we're gonna start this called walmart wednesdays where i go around and i'm observant maybe do it in vlog type type fashion and i go over the various types of people in walmart that day because if you know walmart is really where you see all shapes and sizes, all kinds of just people. It's just like, some, I've seen ladies in there that weigh like fucking 500 pounds. And I am not saying you shouldn't strut yourself and have this self-confidence. But when your shit is jiggling and like, you don't need to be wearing these shorts. And we've all seen it, dude. It's just like, what the fuck is she? Does she honestly think she looks good? I'm all about self-confidence. And lady, you can strut yourself if you feel good. But you've got to be under like 200 pounds. 200 is pushing the limit. That is like drawing a very fine line on wearing Daisy Dukes or not. There's 200-pound women out there that may look good in Daisy Dukes. And ladies out there, if you're weighing 200 pounds, dude, strut yourself. If you got the thing going on, just show it. But you guys, ladies, you know what I'm talking about. There's some out there just like, the fuck is she thinking? Seriously. If you got it going on, you got it going on. I'm all about, you know, more cushion for the pushing, they say. <laughs> I will definitely take that over like a bony chick. I was with a bony chick one time and, okay, if you're under like 18, this is going to get very like um, inappropriate for you guys. Uh, so mute your mic for like 30 seconds. But I was with this bony chick one time. And she was on top riding me. And you know, I'm all about the ass. I love grabbing the ass and just fucking going to town when she's on top. And I was with this skinny chick and I grabbed her ass. And I, I was like, Aah! it felt like I was grabbing a dude's ass. I could feel her hip bones in her ass cheeks. I was just like, ew, get off, get off, get off. It was like a six-year-old that just got a bug on him, dude. I was like, get off, get off, get off. We're done. Because of her ass. I'm all about an ass. I mean, it can't be too big. But, oh, God, I love grabbing it and just pile driving that shit. Guys, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, but, yeah, I thought of this, and I was just like, dude, this is an excellent series idea. Walmart Wednesdays, where I go in here and I, like, vlog. But I also had another, I had an excellent idea. I thought I was getting pulled over earlier today on the way back from getting my toilet paper. I was flying. I had to take a doo-doo, and I almost pulled over on the median just to let her go. But I thought I was getting pulled over, and then I thought, I started thinking, like, what if I got pulled over? I wonder if saying I had to go because I, I'm going so fast because I was about to shit my pants was a legitimate excuse. And I didn't think it would fly over well. So I was like, man, what kind of excuse could I come up with that may get me out of the ticket? And I, then I started wondering, like, if Danica Patrick or, like, Dale Earnhardt Jr. or some of these dudes in NASCAR, if they get pulled over, can they use an excuse? Well, it's okay. I'm used to going 200 miles an hour. Do you think they can get out of tickets for that? I mean, they're d disobeying the law and they are speeding, but they are professional drivers that should be fine. Could I, like, say, it's okay, sir. I'm trained on a close course in fours of four. Like, could I get away with this? Do you think it would fly over well? That dude just got shot on, turned on, whatever you want to do. Get some of this Charmin, buddy, because I just shot all over you. But isn't it weird how the double rolls in the single? It's just crazy. Uh, but, yeah, do you think there would be, like, if I was, like, I'm a profane, uh, I'm a, look, I'm a trained professional stunt driver on a closed course in fours of four. Because most likely the cop's not going to, he's going to be like, fours of what? Like, fours of four, it's a, it's a prestigious um, racing league in the UK or so. I don't know where Forza 4 is. I've actually never played it. That's just the game that came to mind. I don't even think it's out. Uh, but could, do you think that's a legitimate, legitimate excuse or do you think I just said, uh, do you think, all right, if you got to poop too bad, do you pull over or do you just go home and do like a high speed ta chase and the helicopter's like above you and stuff? They're like, he is getting out on foot. He's running inside. What is he going? And then the news crew comes in and you're just sitting there like, Oh, sorry, man. I had to do it. Oh, the, I didn't eat any corn. It's fucking Indian corn, dude. It's not corn. It's like an Indian corn. It's the leaves. There's still there's still pieces of leaves in my crack. It looks like Indian corn. I know they're orange. There's no kind of uh, you know not the corn you eat. Whatever. <sighs> but yeah, that was my story of Walmart today. It was just like weird, man. You go in there, they're like all shapes and sizes. You know, some people, that's just like, there's guys in there that 
looks like they've just been rolling around in. Like, okay, you, you, for guys that have dogs that are outside, you know how, like, the dogs usually when they're tied up around their dog house, it's just dirt, really dry dirt. You see guys in Walmart that looks like they've been laying around with their dog out by the dog house, just, like, rolling around in dirt. Like, it's fucking hot. Let's just roll around together. They're dirty as fuck. You go and you, you like, I told you I pay attention to weird details. You'll see guys paying like, you know, you'll look at their hands when they're painting. Their fingernails are like a quarter of an inch long. Their nails are just black as shit. It's like, dude, what have you been doing? Seriously, I can't go out and pu- I like, I uh, clip my fingernails like every day. I can't stand when they barely start to like get over like the tip of my finger. I can't stand filling them. Um... But if I get dirt in them, dude, it drives me crazy. I'm getting whatever it is that's got, like, a point to it, and I'm digging that out. I can't stand dirty fingernails. And when I see these dudes with, like, quarter-inch long fingernails and they're filled with, like, black-ass dirt, it's like, have you been scratching charcoal out of your grill? Your shit is, like, black. The dirt in your fingernails is black. It doesn't even – it's darker than black. It's charcoal. But, yeah, people at Walmart just kill me, man, but I don't know. I'm glad I got my Charmin, man. I'm going to go in here, and I need to do a vlog and just admire how they got a double roll into this single roll because it's crazy, but it's so soft. I'm going to stuff a pillow with Charmin one day. And no, I'm not getting paid by Charmin to do this. Everybody thinks I'm getting paid when I mention things. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I hope you can do this and uh, pray for Steven for me. But if you enjoy this, please remember to rate and subscribe, Yodi. Got it out.